Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I post a new video every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you want me notified whenever I post a new video. Little disclaimer, starting next week, I'm going to go back to post once a week, okay? Just a little heads up. But today's pickle card is going to be about um, somebody you haven't been in contact with, somebody that could have ghosted you, blocked you, or vice versa. Um, basically, you're not talking to this person right now. Um, it doesn't matter what type of connection, relationship you have with this person. It could be romance, it could be a friend, it could be a business partner. Okay, you can ask about any type of connection here, okay? But yeah, today I have three pals for you. This is pal one, pal two, and pal three. Choose the one you're most drawn to. You could be drawn to multiple ones. It does not matter. But yeah, let's start with the first pal. Hi, Paolo Juan. So let's see how does this person feel. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so first we're going to see your place slash perspective in the relationship. I may say relationship, but again, you can ask about any type of connection, okay? Just keep that in mind. Let's see. How do you feel? My power one, how do we feel in this connection? Okay, we have a ton of wands. If you can, yeah, you can see that. Um, your partner's place slash perspective. We have Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. The foundation of the relationship. Oh, okay, that was fast. We have the Two of Cups. Okay. Then the present state slash issues between you. Is represented by... Mm. Wasn't feeling those, so let's see. Okay. <laughs> this I think it's the same card that fell again. Two of Swords and Page of Swords. And the likely outcome we have. Let me push this down. I feel like I'm just gonna put it to the side because you can barely see the two of cups. Sorry about that. Let me move it a little bit. There we go. And the likely outcome, like I mentioned already, is represented by the Eye Priestess, Virgo Energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Let me put them there. Okay. They're supposed to be on top, but. I don't have space for them. Okay, so how do you feel? You feel really burdened. I feel like you're taking everything on um, in the relationship on your own, okay? I may say relationship, but it doesn't matter if you're asking about a romantic partner or a friendship, okay? It's just simpler that way. Um, Yeah, you feel fed up. I feel like you've been taking on way more, much more than you should. You feel alone. You feel like... You're the only person putting in the work. You feel like um, instead of this being a teamwork, you're just like working and I don't know what they're doing. Well, we'll see. <laughs> but you're like, what are they doing in this connection? Why am I only the only one doing stuff? They may do little stuff here and there, but in your heart, in your high, it is not enough. Okay, you're doing way much more. You feel like... <sighs> There's a lot of expectations on you and there's a lot of highs on you. So you feel like you don't have a choice and it's frustrating to you. Okay, how does your person feel? Page of Pentacles. Your person feels like they're doing a lot. Okay, that's what I see with the Page of Pentacles. Because the Page of Pentacles to me is somebody that puts a lot of work. Okay, this is somebody that will say something but do more than they do. Um... Maybe that's how they feel in their highs. Like, they're, just, they're doing a lot. 
or maybe that's where they want to be okay but honestly i feel more th i feel more drawn to the first scenario but again whatever resonates for y'all okay the foundation of the relationship is represented by the two of cups you feel really connected to one another you feel like you're each other's soulmate um hmm. you feel really connected but there's an issue where there's not enough reciprocity you really have um i feel like there's a connection there's definitely a connection but there's a little bit of a mis misunderstanding or a little bit of a problem where somebody's doing more in than the other one but you from both sides you feel like you're doing enough you're doing a lot okay um talking about um issues the present states has issues between you is represented by the two of swords and the page of swords yeah there's a lack of communication somebody can make they can't um seem to make a decision about something i feel like somebody is like oh my god like all over the place like they're troubled trying to make a decision and there's not there's not um a good communication here like i said i feel like you can figure out wisdom much because in your on your side you feel like you're doing a lot but on your person's side they feel like they're doing a lot as well okay there's an issue of communication and um perspective as well okay yeah i heard background i feel like yeah you're from very different background you like the outcome the eye presses and the ace of pentacles um hmm I don't know why, but I see you two isolating yourself. And I feel like, um, again, this is funny because the Ace of Pentacles talks about, um, especially in this um, special de uh, specific deck, talks about somebody like going out of their way um, to get um, his girlfriend a gift, okay? Um, but he kind of pays for it. But yeah, I feel like you're both going to try to make this work even though you don't feel the same way about this specific ways doing more how much you're doing but i feel like you're still gonna try your best to still put an effort and i feel like i see your person i don't know why i see your person um putting much more work or whatever this is the masculine divine here once and uh, once again um like i keep mentioning in other videos um i believe that we all have a divine masculine and a divine feminine within us and i feel like this um whoever has um in the relationship in the connection is the divine masking as a stronger divine masking i feel like this is this person that's gonna do um that is it's gonna prove themselves like i don't really have to per se prove themselves but i feel like they're gonna put a lot of work in and i feel like the other party is gonna be satisfied okay um you're gonna see somebody is really trying their heart even though they feel like they're already doing a lot okay let's clarify the cards now why is the ten of wands here? Why is the ten of Ooh, that was a lot. Like you have a lot to say. Okay. But I'm not gonna take all those. <laughs> Let's see. We have the two of wands. I wanna read it out. So well that's what we'll do. Let's see. Two of wands. Okay. You see the two angels, statues, flank that cross. The sun breaks through the edges of clouds. It's a familiar scene which appears all over the world, suggesting hope and a promise for a brighter future. People look up to the heavens for guidance. We can overcome. We can overcome. Holding on to the future, knowing things you get, will get better is a common mantra for us all we are waiting to be let out of the darkness and into the light away from disease and infection keywords make solid plans for the future brainstorm my many paths prepare for an arrival wait for the best moment to move out from the crossroad i feel like you're gonna be really optimistic about the situation and i feel like you're just gonna have faith have hope that this is going to work out and like believe your person when they tell you like in their own highs like yeah like i'm doing a lot like i'm doing this that and the third and i feel like you're gonna like come to a conclusion or to realize like actually like you're doing a lot but <laughs> i still feel that i'm doing much more than you but i still see that you're doing something okay like i see you 
coming to a conclusion like that. Let's see. If, let's clarify your partner's side. Why is the page of pentacles here? But I see them as well in this specific page of pentacles. I just see them trying again and again and again to I yeah, heard please you, but she just proved themselves to you. Oh, I heard I'm tired of this. Don't shoot a messenger. That's what I heard. So that's what I'm going to say. Like, I feel like even though they're exhausted, they're still going to try their best to, you know, for you to be satisfied, for both sides to be satisfied. Three of swords. Yeah, they're heartbroken. I feel like they're eating it made them build up this wall okay because maybe in the past they have been heartbroken they could have heard yeah trust issues i feel like this person is not it's not easy to for them to trust people to give their trust to people and i feel like they're really tired to always have to prove themselves because maybe that's what they had to do in the past okay um but yeah i just see like the more you argue or the less you agree on each other with each other, the more I see them building up this wall. Okay, because I see as they get hurt, they're just naturally like automatically building up this wall. Okay. Well, let's see this two of cups. Why is this two of cups here? Let's see. Any jumpers? Any jumpers? Any jumpers? Any jumpers? 32 of cups. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna pick and choose it then. Let's see. Okay. So, Pentacles. Yeah, again, like I said, I see you coming to a conclusion that, you know, to find a more, um, a better balance, okay, to, I don't know how to explain it, hold up. I see you talk things out and figure out how things can be more balanced because you both feel like you're doing something, you both feel like you're doing a lot, so I feel like you're going to try to share the, like, you're you're gonna do what they're doing i feel like she's switching up whatever um you guys are doing to feel like more fair or just to see to have a better balance because you both feel like you're doing a lot so maybe you're gonna try to do what they're doing and they're gonna try to do what you're doing to see like oh yeah actually my person is doing a lot okay like okay i get it like it may not seem like from my own perspective from an outside perspective like it may not have seemed like they were doing a lot but now that i'm doing what they're doing it is a lot or they're doing things you know okay um yeah i see you guys helping each other out yeah let's clarify these pregnancy slash issues oh that was fast yeah i see you have hopes for this i see this being salvaged but i see you still being on the defense whether it's from you or from them but i see you um Putting in the working, I feel like you're sacrificing yourself and they're sacrificing yourself, uh, themselves. <laughs> yeah, that didn't make any sense. But yeah, you're both making sacrifices. The likely outcome is represented by the Ipresses, like I said, and the Ace of Pentacles. But I see you guys coming to a conclusion and I see peace coming back in, okay? Yeah, but it's going to, it may take a little bit of time, but it's going to happen in the right timing for you guys. Nine of Swords, I see your person could be charging in. I feel like um, you're going to receive better communication from them. They're going to answer you faster or with better answers and you as well. Um, Yeah, I see your person. Yeah, I feel like your person is going to help you out. Okay, even though they feel like you're doing a lot, they're going to help you out. And I feel like you're going to help this your person out as well. Okay, you're going to help each other out. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot more of honesty. Like, hey, like, um, you're going to be like, this going to bring um, a better communication because I feel like you're going to be more honest with each other. Like, the communication is naturally going to be better because you're going to be more honest. Yeah, whenever somebody feels 
disturb or a burden like your person or you are going to talk it out and you're going to try to figure out a solution and therefore just naturally the, the situation the relationship is going to be way better like having a way better foundation because the communication is going to become better because there is going to be more <laughs> honesty okay but yeah like yeah like it we just like i said we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck which is aries energy but yeah i see more a solid foundation at the end of the day it may have been hard to work to come to this but it's gonna be worth it but it's gonna have to happen in its own timing okay but yeah that's just what i see for you pal one i hope this was insightful for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi pal too so let's see what's going on Okay, so your place in the relationship slash perspective. Um, a little heads up. If I say relationship, like I mentioned in my intro, if I even if I say relationship, you can ask about any type of connection. So it's just easier for me that way to say relationship. But again, you can ask about any type of connection, relationship. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Your place in the relationship slash slash perspective is represented. By hmm. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I'm to this one. The six of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Let's see. Okay. The foundation, um, your partner's place slash perspective is represented by the eight of swords. Then we have the foundation of the relationship, is ten, which is the Ten of Swords. The present state slash issues between you, the Six of Wands. Ooh, we're going to have to clarify that one. Even though I clarify each one, but the likely outcome is represented by the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, how do you feel? I feel like you're being the one that gives out more than you're receiving in the relationship. You're you're in your own personal battle. You're in your own battle. It's like you're it's I feel like it's kind of one-sided. I'm not gonna lie, okay. I see what I see, and that is what I see. So I feel like you being very generous, like always doing something for your person, you're always giving them your time, your energy. I heard money even, because that's what the six of pentacles is, but it's not necessarily um automatically money but i see you giving your person money it doesn't have to be directly money like it could be you spending gifts for them you um spending money on dates uh, if that's possible right now which i highly doubt but again depends on where you live okay honestly but um you know making sure that your person is satisfied um, but it's like with the set of pentacles, I feel like it's like you're in your own battle, but I see you doing well off financially, emotionally on your own. Um, but it's like you're, you're, it's like you're, you're wearing the pants of the relationship. And I don't like that because it's like, you're the only one working in making the relationship work. But if you didn't do all that, it wouldn't work. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah, I don't like that. The Eight of Swords, how your um your partner's place slash perspective is represented by the Eight of Swords. Your person feels abandoned, or maybe your person um has been abandoned in the past, maybe once or multiple times. And therefore they're used to that and they may feel defensive. Okay, maybe that's why they're not doing as much, even um probably doing nothing in their relationship because I feel, I don't know why you guys, but I feel like you're the type of person to say, oh, I'm, I used to do a lot, like I used to be the one doing um, more in the relationship and connections, but right now they're not doing anything, which is that, which I feel like it's light. Like it's always those people saying stuff like, for example, why does the people, when somebody says like, hey, I'm a nice person, why do you need to say that you're nice, right? You know what I mean? Like, 
why should a nice person tell people that they're nice like you just need to show it okay you don't have to say that you're nice and that's the vibe that i get here why would you say that she put a lot of work you just to do more um in connection and i feel like um it's a lie okay i don't feel like they're um blindly lying to you but i feel like they're in denial that in their eyes they were doing a lot more than they thought they were do but i feel like and just like they are in this connection i feel like that's how exactly how they were in past relationship so i get it but i don't get it at the same time where or why do we feel defensive okay um but that's 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 how they feel apparently but um they feel abandoned okay i see you this is funny i see you the I, that you're the one putting a lot more time energy if probably if you're not the only one um putting the work and i feel like it's one way relationship connection um but in their eyes they feel like they've been abandoned um yeah like i don't know how to explain it did you just feel like you're abandoning them and abandoning them but in their eyes they feel like they're doing something as well i don't know like i had a, a train of thoughts but i forgot it probably for a reason probably will remember probably will not but I, um i had a great explanation and i lost it thanks you know damn but anyways um the foundation of the relationship is represented by the ten of swords yeah again i feel like oh there could be some inner child issues here um i feel like again somebody feels backstab but i feel like if anything they were the backstabber it's like you know like um i feel like they were the type of people to oh automatically expect people that oh this person is going to betray me i don't see this person being loyal so the fact that they thought that person was not trustworthy, they did. They were not trustworthy. So I feel like, in for example, a relationship, if they f f fear that their person would cheat on them, oh, like I know for a fact you cheated on me. So for a vengeance, they cheated on their person when in fact they're the one that cheated on them and their person didn't cheat on them. They were very low. Okay, like you know, I feel like they have trust issues, but where they are coming from though? Okay, that's my question here. I see, I as I really see just a big denial energy here. Okay, I feel like you could try to make the, this person see things from your own perspective or just get out of their head once and try to understand somebody's point of view, um, opinion. But they, they're really stubborn, like they're in denial about something. Like they could be ignorant about something and whatever they believe in something you're gonna still believe in that thing no matter how much um points you have to prove like facts they're still gonna want to believe they'll bullshit <laughs> yeah i'm so sorry but like that's what i see you guys okay six of wands presents um the present states slash issues between you is represented by the six of wands somebody's success is bothering somebody else and you guys can already tell what i'm gonna see <laughs> i feel like your success is bothering them okay i feel like this is the type of person oh like i'm sorry it's so negative but that's what i see i feel like or whatever it resonates but i feel like this is your person that feels like oh you cannot do better than me but i feel like they're helped if they may especially if they have helped you be where you are now they cannot accept it for some reason oh i see big inner child issues a big denial issue here um or maybe they're like i feel like as well they take whatever resonates i feel like you've been um you are where you are at thanks to yourself and only yourself and they could tell you like hey no like you wouldn't be nothing without me this is man um low-key this is mental um emotional abuse okay abuse is abuse at the end of the day whether it's physical or emotionally okay i'm just saying but um yeah like oh like you would be nothing without me i'll help you do that this and the third where in fact it's not true like again i see just big dick denial and they're 
somebody it, it somebody's ego is bruised for okay i'm not gonna put somebody's feelings down but i feel like there's they're making and something that is um something a problem where it's not a problem like i don't see you bragging if anything you're doing the most but you're not complaining but i see them doing nothing but they're the one complaining for some reason okay hmm okay the likely outcome is the easy ones um i see this you guys the easy ones is really like physical energy i see just a big i heard this is when i heard sexual tensions tension but i just see it's if anything it's physical attraction and nothing more um i feel like yeah i heard lust i heard lust i feel like it's if you especially if you had intercourse with this person or you plan to don't <laughs> that's what i heard in my head i feel like this person just wants to use you for sex point blank period and i feel like this is the type of person that's only going to be nice when they want something from you again don't like this energy i generally don't like this energy and i've been rambling for like 15 minutes um to probably 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna have to get out of shirt you guys but there's so much going on here the entire energy why did it come out but this is it come out this is the scorpion energy yeah i just see like mm, are they with scorpio i feel like yeah i see the scorpion energy where you know where you could have done something to them that didn't they didn't like it but they kept it all to yourself and they're mad at you out of nowhere but why are you not seeing anything why are you not telling me like hey like you did something that i didn't appreciate it's like they have this inner anchor issue um against you for doing something like you probably didn't even know it was wrong but they're hating you being mad at you and you don't even know why they're mad it's like out of nowhere well i feel like they're angry about someone in the past or all those past people and for why for what i don't know and it's like they're putting all of that anger onto you and you did nothing to deserve that but it's as if you did all those things to them even though if anything they did all those things to those people Ooh, the ghetto the ghetto okay Let's see. Let's clarify the cards real quick. Cause, ooh, I'm not gonna talk more. Give more time of the day to this person, you guys. Five of Pentacles. I feel like, yeah, you feel Five of Pentacles. You feel left out in the cold. I feel like you give your all, especially financially, to this person. You guys, don't tell me you're living with them, cause that's the energy that I feel. Cause, um. It's wanting to be with somebody, but you live with them. You only, you constantly have to deal with their toxicity, with them mentally abusing you, um, which could lead to physical abuse. Like, I feel like you need a break from this person. You need to separate yourself from this person because this, this person's energy is rubbing off on you. Um, you feel left on the cold. Like, you feel literally naked in front of this person like you give your all to this person and that's how they treat you okay there's not even honesty there okay just denial like that ass okay Ooh, this is interesting ease of cups as well wow what is going on six of cups yeah gemini energy <laughs> um this is funny because the queen of cups talks about somebody honoring the, their emotions it has you to honor their emotions I want to say, this is why I'm confused why it's there. Because I want to say they want to own up to their feelings, but maybe not the right way. Even though the, the Queen of Cups talks about somebody owning their emotions, and it's on the per, your person's side, I don't feel like they're doing that. They're going to do that. Maybe they're going to do that, but in a very toxic way. Or maybe they could be talking to your back, behind your back, which is not good. Or if somebody talks shit about you and you're back, they're not gonna do anything if anything they're gonna have stuff for this person to complain about um you okay um i really would want to say that they're gonna try to be more emotionally mature but i don't see that honestly i don't know why the cards are there because i don't feel that energy though coming from them six of cups again double confirmation here you guys that they have issues that they haven't fixed with somebody from the past and they're putting all that onto you okay they need like especially if they keep talking about their ex 
um i feel like this is somebody that could be drunk and he could call you or just say stuff like mean stuff or talk about their ex all the time or you can see that they haven't moved on from somebody something could be ex could be a person doesn't matter but there's something there's clearly the cards are even clarifying that you guys um that there's something that they haven't fully healed on could be inner issues because there's a the six of cups is always represented by the children and even in this one there's a children okay and this is funny because the specifics uh if i remember correctly the specific um six of cups talks about somebody like you should not trust somebody somebody may look innocent but they're not they are not okay they think they are but they're not okay um let me clarify that for y'all. Two seconds. Six of cups. Steps. Yeah. Okay. Key to the future. Keywords. Key to the future. Sinking solace. Longing for the good memories of the past. Innocence. Remember what was once a life written to your ancestral home. They could be homesick even. Um, yeah, no, I just feel like they're lashing everything onto you. You're always arguing, you're always fighting, or they're always arguing, trying to find something to argue about. Oh, I feel like there is their attention seeker is literally. You guys, I'm so sorry it's so negative, but that's what I see. So I'm gonna be honest as i always am okay um but let's see the foundation of the relationships some what some of it goes i feel like things are going to come back to be better um leo energy but be patient it's going to come with patient okay i feel like they're going to finally king of wands okay the sun seven of pentacles king of wands and king of pentacles i feel like they're going to finally give back their energy and put their pride to the side okay there's a need of teamwork but i feel like they still like they still haven't moved on from something they need to move on from that thing heal from that thing um if they, they want things to work between you okay for a main period okay let's see the issues the pregnancy slash issues between you yeah this person is toxic okay pong back period they have a toxic energy so i rebuff to you okay this is a card that i don't want to see in this day um yeah like i said double quadruple confirmations here this talk this specific card talks about abuse you guys and it's, it it came out as an issue so again once again the card is kind of clarifying supporting what i was seeing the whole time yeah there's an even a handing death card here okay scorpion energy but yeah hmm. yeah i heard i see this handing but to a with a uh, ending but this issue handing but with a price okay um the ace of wands knight of wands i see this person charging in they're gonna come really fast but they're not thinking too much i feel like yeah they're still hungry for more okay i still i think they're gonna ask you to do more and they're not gonna budge they still gonna tell you like i want more from you um i feel like they're gonna be hopeful that you're gonna take them back or take them still put the work in yeah knight of cups you're gonna come and apologize and Finally, give a f gamble sore. <laughs> oh, yeah, but um, give you an actual really. Um, they may even nail you guys, but <laughs> I feel like okay, I heard desperate. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they're desperate. They're gonna make you finally an emotionally fulfilling offer. They're finally gonna hold that to their feelings because I they feel like their the relationship is holding on by your thread literally okay so i feel like they're gonna try but are you gonna be satisfied with it maybe at first you're gonna be but it's gonna i feel like it's gonna come back to being the same but i feel like you're, I, I feel like you're gonna still take them back because you know you see how sincere they are but i feel like it's more desperation there or anything i don't think that's a word but i hope you get my point but yeah that's it that's what i see for your pal too i hope this was insightful for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi about three last but not least let's see what's going on I'm gonna go very like straight to the point as i took a lot of time more than expected for the other pals but it's still gonna be just as detailed 
Okay, let's see. Your place in the relationship slash perspective. Um, like I said, for all the other piles, um, I may say relationship, but you can ask about any type of connection. Doesn't matter. Okay, it's just easier for me that way to say relationship. Okay, um, your place in the relationship slash perspective is represented by the lovers, the Gemini energy. You're in love with this person. Okay, you see a future with this person. Um, your partner's place slash perspective is represented by the Ace of Swords. The foundation of the relationship is represented by the Moon Pisces energy. Um, the presence slash issues between you is represented by the Ace of Wands. Mm, I heard that as soon as I said the Ace of Wands, I heard sexual tension. Yeah. Um, the likely outcome is represented by, I felt trying to those two cards. So we have the Seven of Cups. And what else? The Will of fortune okay i'll put them there okay so how you feel you are in love with this person okay you see a future with this person you feel like okay like personally i believe that everybody will meet is a soulmate but you feel like this person is your soulmate is the soulmate you see a future with this person you feel a really deep connection from them um for them okay um but if i say from them then i mean it could be right okay um how does your person feels okay um i feel like if they are not already i feel like your person plans to be honest okay maybe they feel like they're already honest or maybe they, they feel like they want to be more honest with you i see they want a brand new beginning i see communication coming in they're going to test you be more honest with you be more upfront um to you with you okay the foundation of the relationship is found founded um is um represented by the moon okay i see yeah yeah okay that makes sense okay i love this combo okay because that makes way more sense okay um i see that there's a lot of not okay i heard sneakiness so i guess sneakiness but there's a lot you don't know from this person from your person there's, there's a lot that they don't know about you and i see them being more honest um being more upfront you know opening up to you basically to make it work um the foundation such issues between you i feel like there's uh, sexual tension i feel like it's just about i feel like your relationship is based on sex or on the physics but hmm that that would be the issue okay um again i feel like this is why maybe your person sees that there's too much physical attraction and it needs to go beyond the physical attraction okay so yeah, seven of uh seven, the chariot can send a Jesse them charging in and being more just upfront, opening up, connecting on an other on an emotional level, but just not only on the physical level. Um do you like the outcome is represented by the seven of cups and the will of fortune? Um yeah, I feel like your person's gonna take more risk or don't take more risk, whatever resonates. Um I feel like you're gonna feel like you feel like it's a dream, like you don't believe this, or I feel like maybe them as well. But yeah, I feel like in in your in the right timing in its own timing i feel like things will work out i see this happening but i feel like you don't believe this is true they don't believe it's real i feel like more of that from you but again whatever resonates so let's clarify the eight of swords the queen of cups and the four of pentacles i see you maybe you've been somebody that had been abandoned a lot and therefore you had to learn the hard way maybe you had to learn the hard way to be more independent depend less on people or maybe you've always been somebody that would sacrifice themselves okay um put um people before you um i see you're you are honoring your emotions okay but i see you like still being on guard blocking your energy protecting your energy while still being open emotionally like you trust you trust you're open about your feelings but she's still like ready for whatever they're planning to say to you um about it okay Ace of swords six of yeah six of pentacles ten of pentacles yes two of swords so ten of pentacles is the best card um the best ten um out of all the cards um we have two aces and we have two tens so this is like 
I see a new a handing and a new beginning, a brand new beginning, um, but not in a bad way. I don't say a handing in a bad way. I just see you like restarting, but it's gonna this is gonna bring a way more um solid foundation. I see just this person giving back this energy. I see this person being your person being more generous, giving more into the relationship and the, the connection. And I see they're gonna fight for this. Like they want this ten of pentacles with you. Like it's not the ten of cups with the ten of pentacles. They want emotional stability, financial stability. They want to give that to you. They want to have that with you um the ten of pentacles talks about having a family so again they see a future with you you see a future with them okay but there's a decision they need to make that may be really heartbreaking so maybe this is why they haven't taken any action okay there's a decision that they need to make but they're not making it right now um okay let's see why is the moon here another pentacles the libra um oh justice libra energy and the hermit virgo energy um foundation of relationship i see you both being your own person you're both independent there's no codependency i see you like it's this relationship is pretty fair okay but i see you two just being in a hibernation more just being about yourself focusing on yourself um i feel like while you've been away you're not talking to each other i feel like they had to make a really hard decision maybe that decision was to come to you and be more honest with you honestly i feel like there's something else but it could be that okay um but it could be something else as well um the person says she has issues between you. We clarify. You have the edit. So let's clarify by the sun, the tower, Scorpio energy, and the four swords. Okay. So again, yeah. They want to be happy with you. They feel like a child when it when they are with you i feel like something happening yeah again the tower is something that falls apart um something that wasn't solid that falls apart i don't feel like there wasn't a solid foundation but i see something falling like something being rescrunt rebuilt okay i don't see this that the solid the foundation wasn't strong before but i feel like this um the fact that you're gonna restart on a fresh um how can i say it restart all over or have a, a fresh start is gonna have a, you're gonna have a brand new like a way stronger um foundation okay yeah but the first 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 which talks about resting okay i feel like while you have been not talking to each other they've been resting you've been resting um and it helped i feel like from your side but their side as well especially their side i feel like um he'll help them clear their mind like what they want with you what they want period in general in their life okay maybe they had a hard decision to make about i don't know maybe separate themselves from somebody that is toxic to them like fixing their issue fin fixing maybe their inner child issues like i'm seeing um example it doesn't have to be true nor to resonate okay this thing the like the outcome though Clarify by the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, okay, this Five of Cups is giving me double confirmation that what I was saying was right. That what I was saying feeling was right. Um, Queen of Wands, this person is going to be real stubborn. This person is going to want to do a lot of stuff with you this person has a big heart you're really um i feel like this person's gonna be the bigger person they're not gonna be afraid to be honest with you to be upfront with you um maybe they had a next they had to deal with or maybe there's somebody that came back from the past again that's just an example i'm just saying like that doesn't have to resonate and they showed you that they really wanted them did you desperate to separate themselves from someone they're feeling the loss of someone maybe they literally lost someone and i'm sorry for them for this loss or maybe they had to separate themselves from someone maybe they had to you know gave up with somebody in order to want something with you because maybe this person was in between you literally or maybe they knew that it was going to work because there was something toxic maybe a job or uh, i heard moving out maybe they're going to travel to you maybe they're going to leave their job to move in with you to move towards you in the same city as you but again i see them distancing two of cups i see them distancing from someone for something from a group of people um again it could be a work job uh, friends family okay i just see this themselves for someone and i feel like maybe they take this break maybe that's why while you were not talking you're not talking um they had to deal with stuff okay and that's why they may have took a long time or that's why they're not talking to you right now but yeah three of um swords they're really hard working about something um and it's something they really yeah i can get this energy it's something that it took a lot from them to see things high to high, see things for what they actually were, okay? Um, but yeah, seven of months, they may have been very defensive about it, but 
maybe with you or with themselves okay and i feel like they're gonna come and apologize to you and make you an offer pisces energy um but they're really being hopeful about the situation the relationship and you as well but your stories i feel like the commission is gonna become better or they're gonna try yeah to better the communication okay he could be spying on you but two of ones they're being really optimistic really hopeful that it's gonna work and um yeah and with the three of ones i see teamwork makes a dream work and they're gonna put their ass off about it and they're gonna communicate really um again they're gonna ask you faster they're gonna talk to you like they're not gonna give you alpha ass answers like they're gonna work on their communication um yeah eight of pentacles yeah they're gonna work out this is funny because I thought this was the Eight of Pentacles for some reason, but if it's the Eight of Wands and then we have the Eight of Pentacles, so double confirmation here, right? they're going to put their butts off, work their butts off, and they're ready to break, put the weight on all their shoulders, okay, but they were kind of through this and heartbreak. But there's taking strong for you, for the two of you. Eight of Cups, yeah, again, they had to leave somebody in the past, okay, but they re decided to take a new leap of faith, the full Aries energy. For you, I heard, yeah. Good up in calls, yeah. I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna open up close to me. Somebody that puts a lot of work, time, energy, effort, and especially in relationships. So I see them putting their work in and focusing on their work, but working on this connection as well, making it work, especially when it comes to communication and being honest, you know, being upfront. They want you to know that you can trust them and they can trust you um, as well. Okay, for you, like, they're gonna start being honest to show you that, hey, you can be honest, you can open up to your thing as well. Um, tell me what you think what how you feel at the moment so yeah that's what i see for you pal three i hope this was a double feat and i'll see you guys next time bye guys